All right, Chad Wilson, All Eyes DB Camp. Today we are talking about different press techniques, but one in particular. Now, when you're doing press, they fall into one or two categories, hard press or soft press. We're talking about a soft press technique today, and this one is called motor mirror. So I've got Jaden Olter here with me. He's from Palmetto High School, class of 2023. A damn good technician, so we got the right guy here that's gonna help me out in showing you guys how to play motor mirror technique. We're doing that today on DB Tip Clip. Okay, so there's obviously a difference between soft and hard press. When we're in hard press, we're trying to get close to the line of scrimmage, and the idea is to get our hands on the wide receiver right away, as you see me demonstrating. Receiver comes right off into you, get your hands on him, two-hand jam. If he exits left or right, you get an offhand jam with him. When we're playing a soft press technique, and in particular motor mirror technique, that's gonna be a little different. And for that reason, we have to align a little bit differently. So the first part is getting our alignment right. And the first part of that alignment is not being overly shaded left or right, okay, or inside or outside. The reason is we are backing out of there, and if we're shaded inside or outside, there's a chance that receiver can take off on a free release and put us in chase mode right away. For that reason, we want to be aligned directly in front. So that's the first part of our alignment is being aligned directly in front because we don't want to just be in chase mode right away. The other part is getting our proper depth. In hard press, we might be a yard off of the wide receiver because, again, we're trying to get our hands on the receiver right away. We do that in motor mirror technique. The guy's first step could end up putting him right even with us. And as I just showed you, you're going to be in chase mode. You don't want that first step eating up your cushion and putting him even with you. So now when you're turning out, you're gonna end up underneath the wide receiver and like I said, in chase mode. So we wanna be head up and then we wanna be two yards off. That's what it is in your alignment. The second part now is a jam step. And when we talk about jam motor open in motor mirror technique, it's not about jamming with your hands, it's jamming with that foot. Okay, the reason you want to jam that foot is you don't want to end up doing what I just showed you right there, which is trying to push out without that jam step, you could end up on your heel. So you take what is known as a jam step. You're going to push your dominant foot in the ground and you are going to motor out. Okay, and that's what the jam part in jam motor open is. It's not with the hands, it's with the foot. You jam that foot in the ground. It is a false step. It goes against a lot of what you've been told as a defensive back when you're backpedaling is not to take the ball step and give up that extra step to the wide receiver and allow him to close your cushion, but you're now playing closer to the wide receiver in a press technique, so you take that jam step. Get that foot in the ground and motor out. That's the second part, is taking the jam step. Now, the third part, after you've taken the jam step, you're gonna need to motor out. Very important that you do this correctly, and that is by being on the balls of your feet as I'm demonstrating right now. Getting a closer look at it, your jam step and you have to be on the balls of your feet you don't want to be on your heels as you go back if you're on your heels on your heels when you go back you're going to fall off balance if you're outside of your circle as i just i'm showing you right here that's going to be difficult for you as well because you won't be able to break left or right or turn out once the receiver inevitably covers your cushion so you don't want to be outside of your circle and you don't want to be on your heels you want your weight over your toes as i'm showing you right here that is step number three so showing you again balls of your feet the, and another reason you want to be on the balls of your feet is when that receiver closes your cushion if he's close enough for you to jam you definitely want to be on the balls of your feet and have your feet inside of your circle you don't want them too wide because exiting after that jam is going to be a problem so now on to step number four which is off that motor step once the receiver exit left or right you're going to want to be able to take what is known as a kick step which if you're familiar with hard press there's a kick step involved there are not going to be as many kick steps when you're using motor technique but it is a necessary step in this. See how the receiver is exiting and I take a kick step with him. I wanna make that kick step to push him off of his line that he wants to work on, push him closer to my help if he's going inside, push him a little closer to the sidelines if he's going outside. But along with that kick step, which is step number four, I need to add step number five, which is 
After the kick step, I want to plant and get into a crossover run and get over the top as you see me doing there. Took the kick step. Once the receiver has declared that he's going in there, I want to plant and get vertical and not get trapped behind him, not get sucked too far inside or outside to where I get stacked. The whole essence is being over the top. So now Jaden is going to show you this. He's going to put all the steps together for you and you're going to get a good idea of what it looks like. This is a technique that he's pretty good at. So we're going to get a look at it right here. I'm playing the receiver. He's the DB. Here I am coming off jam step, motor, kick, slide, and then he gets over the top. We're going to get another look at it. And this time I'm going to show it to you in slow motion so you get a better idea of what it is he's doing as we're going through all of the steps right here. He puts it all together very well. You're going to see all of the steps coming up. So here's what we're going through right here. I'm the wide receiver. Once again, I'm demonstrating it and you're going to see all of the steps. First of all is alignment, yard and a half, jam step, motor, kick step, and now he crosses over, gets over the top, and that's him staying over the top, folks. And that is your motor mirror technique. Okay, reviewing all the steps for you right quick. First is your alignment. You need to be head up and a yard and a half to two yards off. That's your alignment. The second thing now is your first move which is that jam step into the ground. That jam step into the ground to get yourself out. Yes, it's a false step, but it is necessary in this technique. So that is your jam step. The third part is motoring out on the balls of your feet with your weight over your toes. The fourth part is when the receiver exits left or right, which he ultimately will do. You take a kick step with him just to widen him a little bit. And then the final part is once he gets vertical up the field, you're gonna plant crossover run and get vertical as well. Those are the steps to motor mirror technique. If you liked this video, and I hope that you did, go ahead and like the video, share the video. And of course, if you're not a subscriber already, come on, come on already, come on. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you're a defensive back trying to get yourself to the elite level, I mean like as good as you can be, I've got two great tools for you. First is my ebook, 101 DB Tips. It's a total reference guide to you from training to just literally everything. You gotta have this book. If you play defensive back or coach defensive back, you gotta have this book. I'll have a link to it down in the descriptions. It's 101 DB Tips. The other part is my members area, which I've been telling you about for a while. We're cranking out elite DBs and coaches left and right. Over 200 videos pertaining to everything. Uh, drills, technique, coverage breaks down, everything that you need to be the best DB that you could be. Also, we'll have a link to that down in the description. All right, once again, thanks for joining me here. And as always, All Eyes DB Camp. Consistency breeds results. You know what to do, bro.